The SRM Applications My Request section displays a list of requests that are submitted by you and, if any, requests that are submitted on your behalf by another user. If you would like it to display all of the service requests before your entire department, you can change the view to All Requests. Your four most recent service requests are displayed in the My Request section. You can use the arrows if you would like to scroll through multiple pages. The entries below show the subject, the request ID, the date and time that the request was submitted, who it's for, and the current status. To view other requests by status type, you could choose a different option from the Show drop-down list. You might need to create a request that is similar to a previous request that you've submitted before. With the Request Again function, you can create a copy of an existing request and then just modify it to, as you need to. You can copy a request regardless of its status, including drafts and canceled requests. You can cancel a request by clicking the Cancel option. When you click Cancel, a message box will appear for your confirmation. After confirming, the request status changes to Canceled. Please note that even canceled requests will display in the My Request section. Last but not least, we have the Details option. You can click this option if you would like to open up your service request to see additional information regarding your service request. Up in the top right, we have the Print button. You would access this button if you would like to go to the My Reports console. This section is covered in more detail under another video. We also have the search field. You can click on the magnifying glass here if you would like to expand the search field. You can go ahead and type in any keyword that you want and click on the search button. You can see with my example I used the word remedy and now the system will display any service requests from me that have the word remedy in it. 